So some of you may have seen my previous video about the eye cups on this microscope. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. Today we are discussing this camera. So this is about a thousand dollar 4K camera that goes right through the trinoc of the microscope. It plays on that TV screen up there if I want to teach or show somebody uh, how to do something. Anyways, I almost never use it. Uh, the, the main reason is that I work freehand under the bench. I don't use, uh, or under the microscope, I don't use a bench block or a, a, you know, a bench mate or any of that kind of stuff, engraver's ball or anything. I just hold stuff in my hand uh, and, and I work. Um, you can see there's a ring right down there right now that I'm currently setting diamonds in and there's no bench mate. It's not even on a shellac stick or anything. I just hold it in my fingers. Anyways, that results in a lot of shaking and this thing is zoomed in so far, you know, just the same as under the microscope, that it's very hard to tolerate watching what's happening, you know, on the TV screen up there. This doesn't have any image stabilization or anything like that. So, you know, stuff is shaking around. It's always constantly moving slightly in and out of focus because the focal uh, depth on this thing is, is really, really narrow. So. Here's another solution for you if you want to create, you know, video content for social media or anything like that. What I found was these parts on Amazon, and and I forget what they, you know, what they're called, but I'll I'll post them in the comments. But at any rate, there's this this little attachment right here, and I had to drill my microscope frame and tap uh, for these three screws to hold this on here. But as you can see, this just clips right on there. So I can take my phone, this old phone on and off without having to change the focus or anything. So basically what I did was I just, I just set up, you know, something and put it directly in focus under the microscope and then adjusted these arms around and everything till I got it looking at the same spot. And, and that's it. And this is just an old Google Pixel 3A XL phone. And and that's it. It's not a, it's not an expensive phone. Okay, it's it's just a cheap phone. And, and really, honestly, it takes great video for social media content and stuff like that. Like it, it has image stabilization. You can zoom way in. I typically zoom in four times, but you can zoom in five times. And really, you can pretty clearly see what's going on. You know, and you can create um, you can create some good content with it. And it's cheap. Like this phone. When I bought it new, I think I paid two hundred and fifty dollars for it, and all of these attachments, this little clip, and this little um, articulating arm here, ball arm, and then the the cell phone holder all together was maybe fifty bucks, something like that, on Amazon, and that's it. And um, you're shooting video. There really is no need to, you know, do something like this if what you want it for is just to make social media content. Honestly, the main thing I use this for is if I get a stone from a customer and it's got damage on it, I can take a picture of it underneath the microscope, at very high magnification before I begin work so that I can show that that damage was already there before I started working. Um, other than that, I almost never use it. This, however, is going to be my new best friend and I'm going to start making content. It works really well. I uh, hope that helps someone. Um, again, you know. $250 phone, $50 worth of brackets from Amazon, and a little time to set it up, and you're good to go.